Watchdog warns airlines of military threats by Iran regime. The US government on Tuesday warned airlines to exercise caution while flying over the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman due to threats by the Iran regime. The Federal Aviation Administration on Tuesday released new guidance to US airlines and other commercial flight operators, saying there is an increasing inadvertent risk to flights in the area. The FAA said in a notice, Iran has publicly made threats to US military operations in the Gulf region. There is also the potential for Iran to increase their use of global positioning system jammers and other communication jamming capabilities, which may affect US civil aviation operating in overwater airspace over the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman. Labour activists sentenced to seven years in prison and 74 lashes. Nazrin Javadi, a female labour activist who was arrested on International Labour Day in Tehran, was sentenced to seven years in prison and 74 lashes. Her trial was held at the regime's revolutionary court in Tehran on August 6. According to the verdict, Javadi was sentenced to five years in prison on charges of association and collusion against national security, one year in prison on charges of propaganda against the state, and one year in prison, 74 lashes, and a ban on the use of smartphones and activities in political and social parties and groups on charges of disrupting public order. Javadi is a former employee of the medical distribution company and the retiree of the social security organisation. She is among 15 women arrested on International Labour Day. She was beaten by security forces while being taken into detention. The US removed almost 2.7 million barrels of Iranian oil from market. The US has removed nearly 2.7 million barrels of Iranian oil from global markets by reimposing sanctions on all purchases of the Iranian regime's crude, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Tuesday. Pompeo said the US government was confident it could continue its strategy. Pompeo said, We have managed to take almost 2.7 million barrels of crude oil off the market denying Iran the wealth to create their terror campaign around the world, and we have managed to keep the oil markets fully supplied. Concerns as Iran regime restricts family contact Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe, the British Iranian woman jailed in Tehran, is being given less access to her family, her husband says. Richard Ratcliffe said new rules mean she cannot make international calls to him in London, and can only see their five-year-old daughter once a month. The UK government says it remains extremely concerned about her welfare. Zagari Ratcliffe, 40, was jailed for five years in 2016 after being convicted of spying, which she denies.